are here at the Minnesota Key and it's near Inglewood Beach and this is a mobile home park. Now as you can see this is the aftermath from Hurricane Ian. Now earlier today the owner of this mobile home did give us a walkthrough. Thank you. Thank you such a gentleman. So how many rooms are in this? Yeah this was one bedroom and oh, no. this is another bedroom. After coming home for the first time to see his home in shambles, Bob was in complete disbelief. It sucks. Fighting through emotion and shock of seeing what remained of his home, Bob still managed to give us a walkthrough of the damage. Careful walking. There's just stuff everywhere. Kitchen. Dining room, a little bit smaller than it used to be. He lives in a mobile home in the Minnesota Key, which is located near Inglewood Beach in Charlotte County. Driving around the island, it seemed his area was hit the worst by Hurricane Ian. There's pictures everywhere. There's just stuff everywhere. But it is what it is. We'll see what happens. We'll come back and try and grab some other stuff and see if it, uh, that we can salvage. He was out of town, but tells me social media is a wonderful thing because it helped him stay updated on what was happening at his home while he was away. But coming back to this... Yeah, it sucks. It absolutely does. Now, as you guys can see, this is major destruction to this man's home. But when I did speak with Bob, he said it does suck. However, he's grateful that him and his family was not here when it happened. In the Minnesota Key, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4. Uh, it's incredible when you see that. Uh, Shari, whenever we started hearing about the evacuations, a part of Zone A is always also included manufactured in mobile home parks just because, you know, they're just not built like to uh, the home standards that uh, that can sustain really high winds. And I want to bring in meteorologist Andrew Shipley here because it really doesn't take a lot for, for those smaller manufactured no. homes, and that, that's what we're seeing here. No. That's why they're the first to be evacuated. Absolutely. I, I just... I'm shocked. Yeah, yes. that's that's how I'm feeling too. And and while I understand that as well, I also understand that that you know we understand that someone's home and and you, you know your possessions and yeah. you know you have memories in your home. And so it's got to be an overwhelming feeling to look at it. her story. Literally started with all of that stuff in the middle of their driveway, the outside of right. that home, and that just that feeling has to be incredibly overwhelming and and heartbreaking. And I think that's a, the feeling that all of us felt not yeah. knowing how our homes were right. and and for that gentleman he said he wasn't there and to follow it on social media and to come home to that it's that's heartbreaking it's really is but um, we're all we're all going to be get through this